Hey, what's up everyone? X1 AC1 X back yet again for another tutorial video. Well, basically, I got my Mortal Kombat tournament fight stick uh, today in the mail uh, from UPS. Um, bought it from GameStop for around like 44 bucks, but I kind of had some, you know, trading credit anyways. Um, I'm choosing some gum, by the way. Alright, so here is, you know, the box and stuff. There was so much box exception in this, I'm not even going to touch upon it. But, um, yeah, here's a tournament stick. Now, obviously, it's for the Xbox 360, but that's not the reason why I bought it. Um, it does work, you know, obviously with Mortal Kombat. It also works with um, Marvel's Capcom 2, which I tested out, and it works flawlessly. Um, but the reason I bought it, really, was for this. MAME 32, or, you know, just MAME. Um, you know, I obviously bought it to use it for emulation. Uh, now, these, you know... Arcade sticks, they're very expensive. Um, there's like some that go up to like 150. Um, you know, like hoary ones. This is like, you know, basic one. I'm, I don't really care about, you know, this layout. Um, I think this is con, uh, concave and the other one's convex. Um, you know, the regular, um, you know, it's like four buttons. Yeah. But uh, either way, it probably makes them up. But either way, that's what I meant. Um, but these do work with Neo Geo games. Uh, well, these, this button layout does work with Neo Geo games, and I'll show you guys right now. Um, it just really takes some time to adjust it, which I'm going to show you in this video. So the first thing you're going to do on Main 32 is go to Options, and this is the first video, by the way. I couldn't find anything at all about Mame and you know emulation and stuff. And um, for your copyright people, I have the game I'm going to test out. So this is obviously for. Um, uh, educational purposes only um, but everyone says that so what we're gonna do here we're gonna go to controls make sure it's plugged in obviously it's plugged in there you go USB slot um, enable joystick input and you're gonna put default input layout X arcade worked the best so um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look for um, metal slug And I don't have all these games, by the way. This is just like a complete list of uh, games that are compatible with this uh, emulator. So it's going to take a while to find Metal Slug. So we're going to load it up. Like I said, have this game. Um, you know, on the Metal Slug Anthology, so it's not really, you know, copyright or whatever. So, um, here we go. Press any key. Gotta love that. And, uh, my speaker sucks, so you have to kind of deal with that. Um, alright, actually... That's the best thing to do. Get a load down later. Alright, so the first thing you need to do once you, uh, get this emulator... This is a key thing. You can you know, obviously have ROMs or whatever. Um, this is the button to change controls. It's, uh, I forgot what that's called, actually. Um, but here is the main menu. Thank you, and, uh, yeah, I actually need to turn it down now. So what you're going to do here, don't put this. Don't put M input general. Uh, go down to this game. Press, you know. If you guys know about anything at all, about like, you know, modding and stuff and emulators, you can, you can kind of go through the menu. But um, you're going to go through this menu and put this game. So as you can see here, I already have everything set up. Um, what I kind of did for, because this is pretty much all, um, uh, well, with Neo Geo games, this is the button layout that I chose. So button one, I picked uh, X. And um, button two was Y and um, button 3 is button A okay 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 I'm mixing it up so X is button 1 Y is button 2 and A is button 3 because you know most Neo Geo games don't have um, games that uh, most Neo Geo games don't have controls with more than 3 buttons at the most sometimes um, it really depends on the game. Uh, Samurai Showdown does have four buttons, but uh, Neo Geo games, 
you know, there's only four buttons, so there you go. And it'll, it'll always have, like, different options anyway, so you just have to toy, uh, fiddle around with that. But uh, that's the button layout that I chose. It's easier, like, it's like this. So shoot, jump, and uh, throw grenades. So um, that's it. And um, play one start. Let me just edit that. So, oh, crap. Okay, what you're going to do, actually, this is an important thing as well. Um, to change, let's say you mess up, let's, let's say uh, you picked a different button you didn't want or you weren't, you know, uh, satisfied. You need to click enter and escape and it'll delete it. So, um, then you can change it back and if you mess up again, there you go, you can do it all over again. So, um, coin one, I'm going to pick to be LT. So, as you can see, it changes the, um, input, play one start. I put, uh, I reset it, so it's down to none again. That's what you have to do again. Uh, I mean, uh, that's something I highly recommend you do. Or that's what you should actually do. So, um, if there's a button already there for, let's say for W, you press enter, press escape, delete it, go to none. It's going to go to none, and then you put the real button you want. So, as you can see, J1.5. So, let me make sure I didn't mess around with that. So, um, coin to one. Escape. None. So there you go. Then you're gonna go to escape. Uh, press escape button once and again, and don't press it again because you'll exit uh, the ROM. So, um, or oh, actually, it's this one. So, um, there you go. That's basically uh, how you do it. So I'm gonna show you guys some gameplay, I guess. Um, it's gonna be awkward to play like this, so I keep going back and forth. So, um. You know, obviously, I can kind of. I'll try to play my best like this. Uh, yeah, I can't stretch it out. So, um, I'm gonna show you guys some gameplay, I guess, real quick. Okay, well, maybe not. Try my best here. Uh, yeah, maybe not the best option. All right, so um, that's basically it, guys. Um, yeah, that's good. All right, so that's basically, guys. That's how you, you know, set up your Mortal Kombat fighting stick, tournament fighting stick, um, or just fight stick. Actually, I think that's what it's called. But uh, Mortal Kombat Fight Stick, that's how you use it on your PC. This is plug and play, by the way, no need to find drivers. So, instant plug and play, let it install by itself, and you're good to go. So, um, that's basically, guys. So, um, why am I opening this? Yeah, whatever. Alright, so that's basically, guys. Hopefully, it helped you at all, because, um, like I said, I couldn't find any information whatsoever. Because um, I wanted to do this for I wanted to do it for a while, and I finally got it. A cheap fighting set because uh, they're pretty expensive. So that's basically, it, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. They don't really want to kill me. Never mind. Later, guys.